Now, throughout the day, some children have seen the video and heard the gunfire numerous times. And depending on their age, they could think this violence is happening over and over again. You might need to limit their exposure, but if they do ask questions, be prepared to answer. Many of our children have been seeing these images out of Las Vegas right along with us. Children may not verbalize what they're feeling. Child therapist Sarah Kaiser tells parents to watch for possible signs of stress. One of the things to look for in children is look for if they're having any more anxiety, um, if they seem fearful about things, or they just start asking a lot of questions, um, or if they also seem exceptionally glued to the television. If children ask questions, answer them, but don't give unnecessary details. The important thing for children is for them to be reminded about their safety and what things are placed in place in the world to help keep them safe. Older children may may ask some difficult questions, don't ignore them. They are getting um, fearful about wow, what this happens at my school or what if this happens at a concert I go to. Um, being able to say, okay, so what can you do in that moment? Who can you call and doing that? Sometimes children just need reassurance of what's their action plan? What do they do if something bad happens? Remember, social media coverage of the tragedy can also amplify your child's fears, so you want to keep an eye on that. And if your child has experienced a trauma, this could trigger those old emotions. So steer your child to a counselor if you think that could help.